The vision of KHCC is to save lives by providing comprehensive cancer care and also mobilizing the community in our fight against cancer. Our mission is to provide comprehensive cancer care, to promote research, promote training, fundraising for our patients, establish a non-profit insurance for uh, patients with cancer. The Pediatric Blood and Marrow Transplantation Program at King Hussein Cancer Center is the only comprehensive state-of-the-art transplant program for children in Jordan and the largest in the region. The program has performed more than 1,300 blood and marrow transplantations since its start in 2004. The program receives patients from all regions of Jordan, as well as 30% of the patient population come from different countries from the region. Indication for transplant at our program include variety of malignant and non-malignant conditions. Malignant conditions including leukemias, lymphomas, solid tumors, and brain tumors. And the non-malignant conditions include bone marrow failure syndromes, thalassemias, metabolic disorders, and immune deficiencies. Also, we have introduced advanced therapies including ECP, extracorporeal photophoresis, where our program is a state-of-the-art center of excellence serving patients from the region, especially for children with low weight. Cord blood stem cell transplantation has been performed for more than 30 years. It has been used successfully to treat children with hematological malignancy, metabolic disorder, inborn or immunity, and bone marrow failure syndrome. Cord blood as a graft source offers many potential benefits. It can be used as off-the-shelf ready-to-use stem cell source. Also, it can be used in cases where the donors and the recipients are partially matched, increasing the chance of finding a suitable donor. There is lower incidence of chronic graft versus host disease with a better treatment response and greater graft versus leukemia effect, all of which can lead to long-term and better quality of life. New research also indicates that cord blood at long term may reduce the cost of the post-transplant care. Fortunately, two-thirds of our pediatric patients uh, will have a full HLA matched related donors, but for the rest of the patients, and because we do not have a uh, national unrelated donor registry, we heavily rely on haploidentical hematopoietic cell transplantation. One of the advantages of uh, haploidentical transplants is that it is readily available for almost all patients. Post-transplant cyclophosphamide has emerged as a promising strategy in the field of haploidentical transplants, being safe and of a low-cost profile. We just recently published our experience with haploidentical transplantation for patients with non-malignant disorders with excellent outcomes, especially and even for diseases that were considered challenging, such as severe aplastic anemia. Uh, we are currently exploring uh, newer techniques in the field of haploidentical transplantation, such as alpha-beta T-cell depletion and others, trying to improve the outcomes uh, uh, of this type of transplant. The outcome of transplanted patients at our center has been continuously improving due to the improvement in the post-transplant care. More importantly, due to the better uh, pre-transplant evaluation for pre-transplant patients, uh, that has led to better risk stratification and uh, patient-tailored conditioning regimen. Especially for high-risk patients, uh, particularly thalassemia patients, the addition of the pre-transplant uh, immune suppressant and myelosuppressant has led to significant improvement in their uh, thalassemia-free survival. The program holds rigorous collaboration, mainly national, regional and international collaboration. In particular, we are partners with the EBMT network where we report our patients' outcomes. For the future, KECC will work hard to improve cancer care. Our focus is mainly on genomic diagnosis, where we detect mutations and different genetic alterations that will help us establish the best plan for our patients. We're hoping for a brighter future, and plans are expanding into a children's hospital. We are working on introducing CAR T-cell therapy in our program, and also we are working on getting the FACT and JC accreditation. We look forward to enhancing our international collaboration and working further with introducing more clinical trials and more robust research.